What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So I wanted to talk about this. I know it's been a few weeks since uh, Crown Jewel has happened, but I wanted to bring up this discussion because I, I do feel like it is the time to start asking these potential questions. We saw what happened with Solo Sokoa and John Cena and how Solo essentially destroyed John Cena. Yes, John Cena had some offense, had a little back and forth, but the majority of that match, Solo essentially dominated. And the finish of that match surprised me and it surprised a lot of people how John Cena got destroyed by Solo Sokoa's finishing move. That Samoan spike, he made it a mission to end John Cena and pretty much sent him back uh, to Hollywood. And I wanted to bring up the question of when will it be the time for Solo to finally turn on Roman? And I think they have been planting the seeds for quite some while. But the question is, when do they pull that trigger? Because right now, Solo has been built up as this dominant monster of a character even to the point where Paul Heyman doesn't really have control over Solo he, he Paul Heyman is just there but he doesn't have real control over Solo and then we know Jimmy has no say in what Solo does every time Jimmy tries to get a handshake or a high five he leaves the guy hanging so it seems as if Solo more and more is just kind of moving on his own, like kind of like taking business into his own hands, especially with Roman not being around as much. And I do think fans would be very interested in the seeing Solo finally turn on Roman and finally go his own path. I know they've been teasing it. They've been teasing it for a while. They even did it when he was feuding with Jay at one point and the whole lay situation. And when he had the lay and Roman wanted him to put it on him and he was a taking a little bit longer to put the lay back on Roman, he was kind of just looking at it. They teased it and then they kind of didn't go back to it. it. They just mentioned it. They gave you the visual and then they focused on other things. I do think they need to start bringing that 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 issue back. Not the issue, but they need to start potentially bringing that story into the forefront because you don't just beat John Cena in that way and then that just be the end of it. Now, granted, we did see John Cena do the job for Austin Theory, but I I don't think it really worked in that sense. I don't I don't it I don't think it benefited Austin Theory as much as um Vince would have wanted it to it came off forced that match was okay at best and theory he's he's now more relegated to the mid card right now tag team division if anything so it it hasn't really done much that's always just been you know theories like oh yeah I beat John Cena at WrestleMania but it doesn't hold no weight but with Solo Solo getting that rub from John Cena seems like it has a little bit more weight to it because one, Solo has been booked as this credible dominant uh, enforcer for the bloodline for quite some time. He's barely taking any pins. I, it, I, it's less than five pins. I want to say he hasn't been pin cleaned uh, it, relatively a lot at all. He barely loses. It's, it's, it's one of those type of things where they have built him up as this dominant force that barely lose matches and he's pretty much roman's right hand man and the fact that he beat john cena the way he did i compared it <clears throat> in my thoughts and opinions video to when john cena got destroyed by brock lesnar at that uh infamous SummerSlam many years back um it, that was more of a one-sided affair it was just if anything that was really a squash match this wasn't a squash match John Cena had some offense but it didn't matter because the end of the day he ended up getting destroyed by Solo in a dominating fashion so if you're gonna have John Cena take that type of L and they have built it up as John Cena hasn't won a match since 2018 so a lot of fans are thinking maybe he's gonna 
finally get him a win. And no, he gets destroyed on his way out back to Hollywood. The question becomes, when do you pull the trigger on Solo? When does Solo say, you know what? I don't have to listen to you no more. When does that happen? Does that happen potentially before the Royal Rumble? Does that happen in a situation where you put Solo in the Royal Rumble? Because I do believe Jimmy uh, will be involved in the Royal Rumble. Jay will be involved in the Royal Rumble. And I do think what would be a good situation is to have Solo in the Royal Rumble. And it could be a situation where you have <clears throat> Roman sees that Jay is going to be in the Royal Rumble. And Roman knows if Jay wins the Royal Rumble, he knows for a fact he's going to come after Roman. And Roman actually doesn't want that. Even though he, he talks his big game, he doesn't want to fight him again for the main event of WrestleMania. And this is where he enlists Solo to get involved in the Royal Rumble. And maybe Jimmy will find his way to get in there or do some shenanigans where he maybe he's not in a Royal Rumble, but he cost Jay the match or whatnot. That's I do feel like Jimmy's going to be the one to cost Jay the match, but Solo will be given orders from Roman to do what you have to do to make sure maybe Jay doesn't win it. And then it could become a situation where maybe Jay has a conversation with them. They're not on the same pages, obviously. But maybe he has a conversation with him and is like, you know what? Instead of taking orders from Roman, how about how about you try to win it for yourself? I know we're not on our on the same terms, but wouldn't you like the main event WrestleMania? If it comes to a point where it's just me and you, or comes to a point maybe I do get eliminated. What you gonna eliminate yourself? I still stand by what I said many months ago. If anybody should be the head of the table, it's really you. Maybe he does that. Maybe Jay says that to him. Like, if you eliminate me, what, you going to jump over the top rope yourself? What you going to do? Aren't you going to try to win it yourself and become a champion yourself? You don't think you deserve it? With all you've done, you can plant those seeds and then slowly but surely, maybe Solo's like, uh, I don't know, maybe... Maybe I would look good as the tribal chief. And talking to Paul, like, y'all keep saying y'all building me up for that. Maybe it's my time. And then you can maybe have that internal conflict of when he does approach Jay in the match. What does he do? Or he is one of the last maybe few uh, competitors. What does he do? Well, maybe Roman's feeling some type of way. You can have a segment where Roman's watching in the back to see who's going to win the Royal Rumble. And solos out there you know holding his own like you can build that story and he don't have to even particularly win it you could pull the trigger and have him win it but he doesn't even have to ha win the royal rumble but the story and the seeds are being there do i think they'll have a match at wrestlemania they could but i don't think that's going to be the main event but there's many a ways you can do this you can still have solo face roman reigns even if he's not the champion you know, you can even do that. Or you can do that before uh, WrestleMania. There's avenues. They actually have options. And I do feel like in Solo's case, he can he can stay. Hey, yeah, you may have beaten John Cena, but I destroyed him. He's no longer coming back. I sent him packing. I did what you couldn't do. Yeah, you beat him. But I destroyed him. You've never destroyed John Cena like I have. You know, he can bring up the fact the only reason why you're still champion is because of me. I want you to know that. Yes, the only reason why you've been champion is because of me. At last year's WrestleMania, without me interfering, you would have lost. They can, that makes automatic intrigue and people will definitely get behind Solo because I've seen the conversations people have about Solo before he beat John Cena on how he should maybe be the one to dethrone Roman Reigns. So there's plenty of options, but I wanted to bring this, uh, make this video to have this conversation with you guys because I do feel like his case has gotten even much stronger after his showing against John Cena. So comment down below, let me know how do you guys feel about solo sokoa maybe being the one to challenge roman reigns 
in the near future for the championship or just have a match with him to see who's going to be the new leader of the bloodline or whatever the case may be where do y'all feel like he should fit into this storyline do y'all feel like there should be an audible and maybe he get the rub at wrestlemania or do y'all feel like he should maybe have some match before wrestlemania because i the only way i see this working if they were to still go to cody route solo can't be involved roman has to be by himself that's the only way this happens it's the only way he loses so it'll be very interesting to see how do they get to that route but i do feel like they're on the road to doing that they just gotta eventually pull the trigger so y'all let me know how y'all feel about solo sokoa's potential situation going forward but i appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel road to 150k and i'm still here in the speed of youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all kicking in with me see you on the next one peace